Welcome everybody. <clears throat> it's Wayne Marshall yet again here at home in Valletta, live tonight, seven o'clock, just about. Probably a little bit late, but anyway, good to see you. We've got a packed program for you tonight. Um, I'm mainly going to be concentrating on f music from the movies, but um, I'm going to start off with uh, an Itali a very well-known Italian song, which you all know because you know what, what's going on in Italy. And um, there'll be a, I'll probably play two pieces actually from from Italy, but very well-known pieces. And let's launch with O Solo Mio. Okay, here we go.
So two Italian classics there, O Solo Mio, I don't want to get some feedback, I want to get feedback. Uh, o Solo Mio and O Mio Bambino Caro, so, so the two nice little melodies. As I said, there's a lot going on in the world and things are moving a little bit, <coughs> but we have to see exactly how and which way they're going to move because, you know, we're all watching the news and, um, you know, it's, it, we're, we're, getting, we're, we're getting there, I think, and I think it's very important that we're all very positive and that we do as we're told and, and try and get on with these lots of things. Now, one of my favourite one of my favourite movies, of course, was The Sound of Music. I always remember seeing this this this, mu this musical when I was when I was a small child, and it, it, it brings back very 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 happy memories. Of course, I have two children, and, and they probably know a lot of the of the main tunes from this great musical. So, I'll just do a little a little um, uh, improvisation. Yes, well, everything is an improvisation, but a little kind of reminder of some of the great things of The Sound of Music.
little medley there from The Sound of Music, a wonderful musical, of course, Rodgers and Hammerstein, and Julie Andrews, that amazing voice that she, that she has to sing in, she likes to sing in. So now I think I'm going to invite, I'm going to invite my, no, actually, no, oh, oh, actually, my son is, believe it or not, he's actually asleep. He's actually asleep on the sofa. I think, <laughs> They went out swimming. They went out swimming. Oh, oh, is he stirring? James, do you want to come and play? I think he's coming. Now that's, that's, a, oh, is he coming? Yeah, he's going to get his violin. And James, yeah, they went out swimming this afternoon. And so, you know. <laughs> All right, James. <laughs> right. <laughs> they went out swimming this afternoon, so I think they're probably a bit tired, but... James would like to play Morning Has Broken, this wonderful little little tune which we all know. And he's going to play it on the violin, and I'm going to play with him on the piano. Ready, James? Yes, James. Okay. How are you feeling? Are you feeling tired? Would you like to do the Paco Bell's Cannon one more time? You don't want to do that? Try it. You don't try it? No. Okay. So, <laughs> well, that was nice. That was the, the, little, the little hymn, Morning Has Broken. And Morning, more or less, had literally broken him because he was literally asleep on the sofa there. Okay, James. Thank you very much for that. All right. So, um, let's me, I'd like to play now for you. I had a request to play... Jesus Joy of Man's Desiring. This is a piece, of course, from, by Johann Sebastian Bach. And I'll make an improvisation on this piece. Jesus Joy of Man's Desiring.
little improvisation there on Jizu Joy. You, you can all recognize the ideas that Bach wrote, of course, that I was just trying to combine the themes and to make it all a little bit different. And this, this might be good, actually, a good point in the program to mention that um, on the 4th of June, I will be starting my, um, well, there'll be more substantial uh, lectures, in a way, um, which I'm going to be presenting different aspects of my career. The first one is going to be about conducting, which will be on the 4th of June, and then the next date of that will be, when is the next one? It's going to be a date to be yet determined. I will be talking about <coughs> about recording, because, you know, recording is a very, very important part of, of the music business, and I'm very, 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 very keen on, on, on recording, and uh, I thought that it would be a very good idea to share my thoughts and views about the kind of things that I do. Um, of course, during this, this period, I've been doing, I've been learning a lot about technology in terms of the recording with social media. And I think it's very, very important that, that um, if, we, if possible, that we try to make good recordings, have good sound. Um, it's very, very important. The audio part of, of recording, of video recordings is very, very important. And uh, this is something that I'm very, very particular about. And you know, I've been trying with various friends of mine to, to try to get the best kind of sound, with, especially with the kind of software I'm using for this broadcast. And so it's very important that we all really try to pay good attention to that. OK, so now I'd like to bring my daughter, Martina, who would like to come and play a little piece for you. Um, I've got to, of course, I, I should mention first of all, of course, that again this week we have some wonderful examples of my, of my wife's, Jennifer's fantastic bread. Wait there, Martina, wait. And I tell you, it's, I'm, I think I'm the luckiest, luckiest man on earth, really, to be having fantastic bread made in-house, which is really amazing. So this is here on the, on the piano, and there's this wonderful smell of, is it basil, darling? Basil? No. Sage. Sage here. So the smells are coming through are very nice. So that's, that's here. So, and uh, Jennifer will be giving a talk on her bread making and sourdough particularly uh, at some stage. Now I've got to move this because Martina has to come now and I'm going to just uh, close the vocal mic down because there's going to be a bit of stage movement. So, so Martin is going to play a little sonatina, the first movement of a sonatina in C major by Clementi. Yes, a little sonatina there by Clementi there, Martina there, very good, yes. Now, it's, I think, as I said, it's always good to, you know, to have the children playing something in, 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 these, um, in these concerts. It's, it's nice, it gets them to practice, you know, uh, during the week and to prepare, and it's, it's nice, so we can, we can really, really, really do that. I wish I could 
show you the scene backstage where, where Jane, James is sleeping, but you know, he's, he's, I can't turn the camera, but anyway. Right, on with the show and more music. What should I play now? I think I'm going to play something from The King and I. Now, this is a great, a great musical and um, some fantastic, some fantastic tunes are written for that. One of my, one of my favourites is the March of the Siamese Children. You remember that wonderful, wonderful march? And I'm going to make a sort of improvisation on that and and there'll be a, a couple, of, couple of, of other tunes in there as well, if I remember which ones to play. Here you go. Selection from The King and I.
I used to watch these Hollywood movies a lot when I was a kid, you know, and I was always fascinated by the fact that, you know, I always used to think that the orchestra was actually played by someone playing a piano, playing a keyboard, until I actually went to see a, a show which my parents took me to in my hometown of Oldham. And I was very surprised to see all these musicians with different instruments playing in the orchestra. I had no idea, but it was, it, was, it came as quite a, quite a shock to me, but um, it, nonetheless it, it really sort of got my interest in, in, this, in, this, in this genre very much. And so I like very much these, the, the Hollywood musicals and to play all sorts, all sorts, of, all sorts of things for them. Um, I could go on and play, now I think I'm going to play, yes, I'm going to play something from My Fair Lady. I had a request to play something from My Fair Lady. And of course, there's lots of great tunes in that. And in fact, last year I conducted it in Palermo. And we had a successful production there. Really enjoyed myself. Let's, let's see if I can remember some of the great, some of the great tunes of that. One, of course, is I'm Getting Married in the Morning. Here we go. I like that tune. I'm getting married in the morning from I from my fair lady, of course. Learn and know, great show. Now, um, this last today, 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 today is the birthday of the French composer Eric Satie. And um, going on at the moment is this 24-hour marathon of a piece which he wrote called Vexations. And um, a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine. Um, notified me about this about this performance that was going on online. It's something which they do every year at a theatre in Tieste. But um, this year, of course, with the situation, of course, uh, they couldn't host the event in the theatre. But uh, pianists from all over the world signed up 
online to participate in playing this piece. Um, and it was great fun, actually. I mean, it was something that was very well organised and um, quite quite a complex thing, using Zoom. But nonetheless, um, at um, I think it was about quarter to eight this morning, I was here at the piano and waiting for my call on Zoom to start to play this little vexation. Um, I haven't got the score here, but anyway, it's a very short piece. It's only about, it's only about a minute long, or even less than that. Um, this theme, which is very angular and very irregular, uh, and then these little variations, um, chordal variations, over this, this, this same theme, but two different things. Um, so what I'd like to do now is to improvise a little piece in the style of Eric Satie, but to improvise on the happy birthday in, 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 of, of Satie. So, of course, we all know that the gymnopédie, if that's the, way, that's the right way of saying, are very, were his most famous pieces. So in that kind of style. Here's happy birthday in the, ki in the style of Eric Satie.
happy birthday, Eric Satie. <clears throat> the, um, if you want to tune in, you can see this, um, um, this, this marathon that's going on. The piece, by the way, has to be played some 840 times. Can you imagine playing this piece 840 times? I mean, it's, it's quite a piece. It's quite a feat, actually. But um, I think you, if you'll, you'll see, I think it's, I forget the, the website name, one Compliano, I think, sati.it, something like that. Yeah, you'll, you'll find it on, um, on, on the web. Right. Huh? Say again? Yes, yes. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> it was also my daughter's birthday this week as well. Yeah. Right, I would like to conclude now um, with um, this great, one of my favourite musicals of all, which is Oklahoma. And um, I'd just like to, just to, to say that also on Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, I will be, in, I'll be playing a, a concert in the cathedral, more of which I will let you know about probably tomorrow. Um, uh, more improvisations on things that you will know very well. Um, and as I said, on the 4th of June, starting on the 4th of June, I will st we'll be starting what we'll call you know, my musical journey. So you can join me in my musical journey. Please subscribe to my, to my page. Um, there I will be presenting some interesting things, interesting facets about conducting, certainly my, my, my life as a conductor. And then the date to be followed that will be about recording, which I really do want to share with you. And of course, I will also be doing a, a class on, about improvisation, which is something which I do all the time and which is something which I really enjoy to do. So, um, thanks again for listening. I hope you all have a safe week. And I'd like to now just bow out with some themes from Oklahoma. Here we go.
Oklahoma bringing tonight's concert to an end, actually. And I've really enjoyed playing to you again, and I hope you've enjoyed. Am I getting some feedback? I hope not. I hope you've enjoyed the concert, and I've enjoyed playing to you. And I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday at the Cathedral at the Organ. This time I have everything sorted out. I had a little technical problem last week, and I do sincerely apologise about that. But anyway, I'm getting my act together, you know, so this is the most important thing. The technology is very, very important, and the sound has got to be really good. So, so until next week, stay safe and relax, everybody. We'll get over this. It's been fun. I've really enjoyed it. Take care. Bye. <laughs>